A good snowstorm in Portland brings kids of all ages outside to have fun. Ready to ski. All right. <laughs> when I was here earlier, there was like this flotilla of cop cars parked like all along here. I thought, uh-oh. In downtown Portland, Win Goodbody and Friends have been a buzz on social media because the conditions are ripe for the impromptu Stumptown Berkabiner. It is a Norwegian ski race, Portland style. Heads, heads up, there's a truck here. Whenever significant snow is forecast, the group plans to gather near Powell's books. If enough skiers show up, the race is on. So the idea is that every time it snows enough to ski in Portland to meet at Powell's at 9 a.m. So it's just an impromptu urban ski race slash parade. Should we get the show on the road? The first year, there were eight skiers. Some people turned out, it looks like. Today, there are about 30. There's barely enough snow, though, and the skis grind on the asphalt and sand. Oh, yeah. We grew up in Wisconsin, and the, the, the roads are plowed and salted. Yeah, just like, snow, that. So just like that. You can't do this back there. <laughs> Berkebeiner racing began 800 years ago as part of civil war in Norway. The name is derived from birch bark leggings that skiers wore while smuggling the infant son of the king to safety. The event is now recognized every year by thousands of racers in Norway, Canada, and Wisconsin. But here in Portland, the race today turns out to be more of a leisurely trek through the streets as the skiers spread out. With more snow in the forecast, Wind Good Body has bigger plans for tomorrow. Okay, well let's let's definitely do it tomorrow. We can use three to five more inches, like is forecast for tonight, and tomorrow we might actually do a real ski race. Several inches of snow fall overnight, and about 50 skiers take to the streets of Northwest Portland. I think it's fabulous. Look at all these people skiing and having fun. I mean, it's just so great. Hi, you guys. Hi. <laughs> they rendezvous at a closed street near Wallace Park for some friendly competition. But with this race, they make up the rules as they go along. Okay. I would probably do, yeah, like, like skaters that are sort of more, you know, okay. early, medium, and yeah. then a faster skater. That sounds good. Group. So we'll do, the faster we'll do... skater group will do knockout sprints. So we've got this great course that goes up two blocks. So we, we start here, we go up to the far roundabout and back. So it's pretty much an out and back. We'll just kind of ask people to, you know, think about where they want to fit in, and then you can also see who's lining up and decide if that's the heat for you. Um, so you guys psyched for this or what? Yeah. All right. Maybe we'll start off with a slower group, but the benefit is you're actually also in the first ever Stumptown Berkefinder sprint race. So the grandkids are going to want to hear about that, right? All right, start line four here. Are you ready to ski? Yeah! <laughs> Start your ski ball. Claude! Ready? Go! The host is tangling the screen. Go ahead, pull it up. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah! Woo yeah. yeah. <laughs> With the novice class finished, the elite class comes to the line for the final event. Uh oh, he's got the special gloves. Carnage in the streets of Portland. <laughs> I've lived in the neighborhood since 1975. This is just terrific. I've never seen anything like this. This is wonderful. So it's the wonder of the websites, huh? That websites can get people to show up. It's like a, you know, a flash mob of skiers. It's great. Did anyone get that potholes? Nice. Wow. Who would have thought we could have? 
ski racing in Northwest. Oh, thank you. I'm okay, thanks. Oh, it's amazing. Classic Portland. It snows and they come up with a reason to go play in it. <laughs>